Well, this seems like a no-brainer, locking up addictive prescription drugs so teenagers can't access them. Well, it's the back-to-school story probably not on your radar. Denver 7 reporter Marshall Zellinger is live. And, Marshall, there is a Colorado company trying to prevent teen drug use. Shannon, just before school let out for the summer, we told everybody about a private Facebook page where dozens of Denver and Jeffco school students were buying and selling drugs that they were likely stealing from their parents that were most likely being kept in childproof containers that can often be opened by children. Well, tomorrow here at the state capitol, a Colorado company will be introducing this product. Consider this childproof, childproofing. This is what we call an LPV which is a locking prescription vial. It's technology you didn't know needed upgrading. We've been sending the equivalent of heroin home in containers that any six-year-old can open. Since Congress required them in 1970, childproof pill bottles have been the norm. And all the patient has to do is line up the combination code and take the cap off and take their dose. Milton Cohen of Greenwood Village-based Safe RX wants this to be the way you store addictive pills at home. If this little LPV were used nationwide, we'd prevent five million kids from initiating abuse over the next 10-year period. In May, the Jefferson County DA's office made an arrest and shut down this secret Facebook page of middle and high schoolers buying and selling drugs like OxyContin. The number one source for teen prescription drug abuse nationally and here in Colorado is pilfering from our parents' medicine cabinets. That means stealing a pill here and there with mom and dad not realizing. Someone pries it off with a screwdriver. Uh, one or more of these engagement pins will fail, and then the next time the patient opens it, they'll see that visual cue. Safe RX is working with Wheat Ridge based RX Plus pharmacies to test this bottle. How will we know if it works? Some indicators might be before and after statistics on teen overdoses and ER visits. We're cutting off the number one source for teen prescription drug abuse in this country. Here's a closer look at those four pins, and you can see this one on the right here, that top pin being knocked off. So if you took off the combination, you would be able to see some tampering. I asked how much something like this would cost. It's still being worked out right now, but likely a couple bucks extra per prescription. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, Denver 7.